everyone, Jackie Tomlin here, and welcome to Spilling the Weekend Tea with Jackie. Now, you guys, this is a totally different read than what you see from me during the week, okay? This is a fun read that we do. We're going to start each sign, okay? We're going to run Aries through Pisces with a quick collective at the end. And um, what we'll do is in each sign, I'm going to ask what house you're in, where your focus should be for the weekend, your intent. Okay, we're going to spell the T, see what the T messages are for the weekend. And then, of course, at the end of each sign, I will wrap up with um, your question in your month. Okay, now this could be the month of something beginning. This could be the month of when this person was born that you're asking about. It is just that it is your question in your month. So let's make sure that... Um, you don't feed more into that than you're supposed to because it's a fun thing to do. Let's see. What are we having problems with here? Looks like we're having problems with one of my connections. Hmm. It does not seem that I can do anything about this while I'm online. Okay. That's what we have. Okay, so let's get into this, and we're going to start with Aries. Aries, you're first up. Let's see what house are we in for you this weekend. By the way, guys, I want to take the time to wish you all a happy Easter. Um, enjoy your family. Enjoy your friends. Enjoy your time off. Some of you are off on Mondays, I know. So, long weekend for some of you. Some of you are going on spring break. I uh, also want to say thank you and give a shout out to you. We bought in a ton of new subscribers uh, this month and uh, on a whole. So, thank you and welcome all of you to the channel. Stick around as I will be changing things up for the month of April. All righty. If you're seeking a personal reading, it's JackieTomlin.com. What do we have here? Okay, Aries, you are in your house of happiness for the weekend. The house of happiness, always a good house to be in. Let's see. Spelling the T for my Aries. What do we have going on here? For my Aries. All right, Aries, the first thing you have up is a cat, a tree, and a hand. We have a throne, a tankard, a unicorn, a pin, a fly, and a diamond. Okay, I really think diamond is your, um, actually your um, first name too, I believe. Hey, Firefly. Hello, Alicia. All right, so for the cat, it says a two-faced friend. The tree comes in and says affairs with your family. Well, yes, it is Easter. And we have the hand that says in need of help, assistance, and or guidance. Sometimes when you need help, the biggest thing here is to ask. The throne says position of authority. And then we have the tanker that comes in and says, celebration, fun, and enjoyment. And the unicorn that says, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. You know, you guys are in the house of happiness. And it just says, if you need help, ask for it. Everything looks wonderful here. Pen, nice uh, new job or career. That fly that says a period of ill health and depression. Be warned. I just did a collective reading for the weekend and there is a health warning. So Aries, be careful. When he says you will be receiving or giving a precious gift. Amazing energy for my Aries for the current weekend. Okay. Aries, your question and your month. What do we have for you? Your question, your month. We have December. The month is going to be December. Going out to my Aries. Alrighty. Up next we have Taurus. Also, if you're new to the channel, I want to let you know um, 
I offer a membership over on YouTube, youtube.com backslash psychic jacking. Hit the join button. It's generally near the notification bell or near my um, picture. Okay. And we'd love to have you over there as well. And like I said, a wide variety in psychic readings on my website at JackieTalman.com. And again, welcome to all our new subscribers. All right. Taurus. Hello, Miss Kimberly. Taurus, your house. Look at there. You're also in the house of happiness. Okay. And let's see what we have for my Taurus. All that. All right. Taurus. We have a peacock, a claw, and a woman. A dolphin, a basket, and a pineapple. A hammock, a nest, and a chain. All righty. Love, Hope, Hope. Love seeing you over there. She's over on Facebook. Thank you, dear. It's good seeing you. Hello, Kathy. Happy Easter, everyone. Okay, we have the peacock. Beware of great pride. Foolish pride, I want to say. Claw. Be careful. Do not take risks. And a woman that says dealings or a relationship with a wo woman. So, and when it comes to you, your happiness it's a warning here for you to be careful particularly with the dealing with a woman we have a dolphin financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past we have a basket that says recognition rewards for merit and we have the pineapple that says a reconciliation making amends with someone reuniting with someone it's all about the holiday season qt how are you and we have the hammock Taking a vacation physically and or mentally. And we have the nest. An emotionally secure and loving family is important to you. And chain. Chain of events that will affect your life. So things are going to move along abruptly and very quickly for the weekend. Is what I'm seeing from my Taurus. Hello, Jean. All righty. And then here we have Taurus. Your question in your month. Your question in your month. We have the month is August. The month of August. Alrighty. Up next we have Gemini. No notifications. Y'all complain, complain, complain. And I just uh, said, if you missed the beginning of the reading, I did say that I will be changing things up over here on YouTube uh, for the month of April. So y'all stick around for some changes as well. All right. Gemini. Gemini. What do I have going on for you? What house? What house are we in? What house are we in for the gems? Let's see. I hope if I turn the microphone towards me, y'all probably hear me a little better. Gemini, we have the house of career. Some of you may be like me and work in the weekend. Let's see what we have here for my gems. All right, Gemini. You have an axe, a tower, clouds, four leaf clover, archway, a barrel carriage, an older man, and a wedge. All right, gems, let's see what do we have coming up for you. Now, Axe says, force is working against you. Tower, solid foundation, success with effort, and clouds, temporary problems. I see y'all building or constructing something. You're working on some type of project. Okay, something big in regards to your career. Four leaf clover, great good fortune. And the archway, new opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening. I feel like there's new doors opening for my Gemini's. And we have the barrel. You feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. Okay, 
on a collective read for the weekend, it does say you're still under that powerful manifestation energy. Gemini, let's make sure you're not manifesting the lack of because you can un unintentionally do that. We have the carriage. It says a journey, either physical or mental. An older man, dealings or relationship with an older man, and a wedge. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. I feel there's some competition on the work front that you're competing with someone. Okay? Remember, be warned of that lack of. All right, Gemini. Your question and your month. Clearing of the phone. Your question and your month. What do we have for my gems? Also seeing the letter S. Little S here as well as the letter F. And we have February. The month is February. Up next we have Cancer. Cancer. What do we have for you? What house are you in? What house for my cancers? You are in also the house of career for my cancers. Let's see what we have. What is spelling the T? Spelling the T. Um, compassion, love, and compassion is what I'm hearing for my cancers. Showing love and compassion. All right, let's hear what we have going on cancer grasshop the clearing of the phone grasshopper a finger and a turkey an ink pot an angel a shield an elephant a horseshoe as well as the tortoise all righty cancer the grasshopper says situation in the balance that require careful handling the finger says warning of a problem either now or in the near future. Somebody shaking their finger. Okay. It's probably you. And a turkey. Someone is behaving stupidly. You're giving a lecture to someone here. You're giving a lecture to someone here. And for whatever reason, I'm seeing, I know it's not St. Patty's Day, but I'm seeing a green drink for my cancers. Okay. Just throwing it out there. Just a messenger. We have the ink pot, problems to be resolved, an angel, spiritual guidance, protection from harm, and the shield. You need to defend yourself. You guys are really protected, really shielded, very guarded, very defensive. Elephant says a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. Horseshoe, good luck. And the tortoise is says, slowly but surely getting ahead. Okay, Cancers, I want to warn about an argument or a falling out this weekend. I mean, it's family. It's family weekend. Um, not the time to voice your opinion. This time to be the bigger person and walk away. Uh, but in regards to your career, it's going to be the same thing too. Don't voice your opinion. Don't voice your opinion. May. Cancer, your month is? May. All right. Leo. Leo. What house are we in for you guys? What house are we in? Um, also, a warning out there to my uh, Facebookers, um, just watch the trolls over there. They're trolling my page pretty well. Uh, these are the scammers are pretending to be a psychic, have like two followers trying to hit you up for some money. I'll never hit you up for a reading. You know where to find me. Success. You are in your house of success. House of success. I'll take that house any day. House of happiness. House of success. <laughs> okay, so I got tequila drinkers over here. I just saw it. Tequila. All right. Tequila drinkers. What can we do with that? That's right. Okay, we have the caterpillar, the club, and a ladder. 
a tiger, a forest, and a lily. We have a purse, a cup, and a mountain road. Okay. What are we on? Leo. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. The club that says someone will try to make you do something against your will. And we have that ladder climbing towards success. You know, you are in your house of success. You are on the right path. And with that caterpillar talking about trans, gosh, transition and change. Y'all hold on one second. It's blowing me up. Transition and change. Wow. Okay. Um, transition and change. And, you know, we're talking about the success and moving up the ladder of success. So it's that transition from the caterpillar into the butterfly. So big changes this weekend. Tiger doing something risky, taking a chance. Forest muddled, unclear thinking. And the lily that says spiritual love, okay? When you have that muddled thinking and you can't see the trees for the forest, then you need not act. You need to just fall down and regroup and let things play out for you. Um, we also have the purse. Pay attention to your finances. The cup that says you should accept valid criticism and a mountain road. You are on the road to success. Okay, so twice... You have had the word success mentioned in your house of success. Okay, Leo, you guys are on the right path. Leo, your question and your month. Leo, your question and your month. We have January. The month is January for my Leos. All right. Coming up, Virgo. Virgo. What do we have for Virgo? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Virgo, we are in the house of love. The house of love for my Virgos. All right. House of Love, spelling the T. Virgo, I have a feeling you're treating yourself or you're doing something nice for yourself this weekend. You're kind of making this weekend about yourself, and you know, there's nothing wrong with that. All right. Your T went everywhere. <laughs> Let's see. What do we have for Virgo? We have a door, a dog far away, and a basket. A pineapple, dogs, plural, fire, nest, hammock, and a rose. All right. The door says opportunities are waiting for you. And a dog far away is a, a distant friend is thinking of you. With a basket, it says recognition, reward, or merit. You're, like I said, I want to go back to say you're treating yourself. You're doing something really nice and inviting for yourself. The pineapple talks about a reconciliation. And dogs is getting together with friends. And we have a fire here. It says strong emotion, passionate love, or hate. Some of you may be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius may resonate for you. We have nest. An emotional, secure, loving family is important to you. Some of you are nesting at home, you know, getting your home ready, making your home your home, making that space, that sacred space yours. We have the hammock of taking a vacation physically or mentally and the rose romances in the air. And like I said, you are in the house of love. And ironically, there's that red flower doesn't necessarily have to be a rose. You could be getting the gift of flowers. And some of you, Virgo, are treating yourself to flowers. And nothing wrong with that either. All right, Virgo. Your question, your month. Virgo, Virgo. August. The month is August. All righty. Dutch, what's up? 
Libra. Terrence, how are you, my friend? All righty. Jack in the box. I actually put that on the screen. Gracious. <laughs> Look at there, Terrence. You made the spotlight. All right. So what do we have here? Libra. All right. Enjoying the day off. Libra, what house are you in for the weekend? Libra, you are in the house of career. House of career for the weekend. What do we have here? House of career. All right. For my Libras. Libra, we have the scissors, a mule, and a mountain. A casket, a spear, an older woman, a dog barking, a parrot, and a dragon. Oh, we are in the year of the dragon, so let's see what we have here. We have scissors. It says disappointment in some affair. We have a mule. It says someone is extremely stubborn or unwilling to change. And mountain, major challenges to overcome. Okay, so you might be dealing with someone stubborn, but i tell you what I find the disappointment to be is that work is going to be extremely slow, and it's like you feel like you're wasting your time. There's nothing worse than being slow at work because it makes the time drag on. We have the casket, someone going out of your life or the end of a negative situation. We have the spear that says heartache over what you no longer have, and the older woman that comes out of dealings or a relationship with an older woman. Okay, we've got a lot of negative energy in the workspace here for my Libras. Readjust your thinking. What are we eating, Dutch? And we have advice from a friend with the dog barking. And a parrot of someone will gossip about all of your secrets. And the dragon, beware of self-delusion. Okay, so, yeah. There might be a little circle of haters at work or something, but something is slow at work. Um, and people gossiping and rumors and just don't buy into all that. Remember, it's just a job. Repeat that. It's just a job. All right, Libra, your question in your month. We have the month is November, the month of November. All right. Very nice, Miss Dutch. Sounds good. Scorpio. Scorpio. Let's see. Scorpio, what house are we in? Scorpio is lighting candles. Something to do with the rain or doing a rain dance. Morning rain. That's what I'm saying. Morning rain. We have the house of love for Scorpio. Scorpio. Okay. Bad as Virgo. Chief flying all over the place here. All right. Scorpio. We have a flag, a dragon, and a feather. Mice. Rooster, rabbit, owl, a whale, and a kite. All right, we're going to start with the flag. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. And we have a dagger, fear, worry, or tense situation. And the feather that says someone you know is undependable and insincere. So I'm going to say we've got somewhat of a disappointment here with a significant other. We have mice, discord among friends or family. And the rooster, it says, arrogant, boastful person you should avoid. And we have the rabbit. And the rabbit says there's too much concern with sexual matters. 
All right, guys, I can't make that up. You're in the house of love. In the house of love, and you've got that rabbit going on. Um, let's say a couple things here. One, um, I'm also seeing the letter F here for you too. Okay. But one, let's make sure you're not getting into that whole friends with benefits situation. And two, some of you, um, pregnancy, yes or no, be warned. Marisol. Yeah, I'm here. No one got their notifications. Imagine that. YouTube at its best. Ow, good advice from a wise person. And a whale that says, great worry over nothing. And the kite that says, vacation. Maybe it's time that the two of you just get away. Just get away. Take some time to get away. All right. Scorpio, your question in your month. May. The month of May. All right, coming up into my fellow Sagittarius. Sagittarius, first thing I'm hearing is the letter R. Help if I can spell it right. You got your Rumble notification? Very good. Guys, if you've not joined me on Rumble, do so. Rumble.com backslash uh, Jackie Tomlin. It's a format like YouTube. You will see me more and more on Rumble. Uh, and you'll get exclusives on Rumble that you won't find anywhere else. So go over there. Join me there. Hit that follow button. It's in the top right hand corner. All right. Sagittarius. Fellow Saggies. What house are we in for the weekend? We are in the house of happiness. House of happiness for my Saggies. Ryan may mean something with that letter R. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I got uh, subscribed to people I ain't never heard of. That has nothing to do with us. Nothing. And then I got people that have been unsubscribed that did not unsubscribe. So, you know, there's that. All right, Saggies, you've got a lobster, bread and a bowl, a wedge, an older man, a carriage, a barrel, a four-leaf clover, and the sun. Okay, Saggies, let's see what we got going on. The lobster says financial pinch. The bread says period of prosperity and abundance and the bowl of plenty of material things. So something coming in, if you're in that financial pinch, looks like there's going to be just enough to come in and save the day. We have a wedge here. It says someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. We have an older man that says dealings or a relationship with an older man. And there's a carriage, a journey, either physical or mental. Some of y'all are actually getting ready to take a physical journey. And we have a barrel. You feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, and or goals. Remember, do not manifest the lack of. Come at the abundance mindset. The four-leaf clover is great good fortune and sun, happiness, and well-being. You know, the sun shines brightly in all that you do. It's going to be very important that my Sagis do not get stuck in your head and your thoughts. Uh, this weekend is going to mess up your happiness. All right, Sagittarius, your question in your month. April. I mean, that's like next week. Your month is April. <clears throat> okay, Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. What house are we in from a Capricorns? You are in the house of success. House of success. 
<laughs> yes, I rang. How, how are you, Miss Kathy? Capricorns. What do we have going on here? All right. Capricorn, you have a boot, a moon, and a staff, a vase, coins, and a tent, a jug, a jug, a fair woman, and a chain. All right. Capricorn, the boot. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. The moon says changes are in your life. And the staff, the clearing of the phone, staff says you will be taken care of in difficult times. And we have the base. Secret admirer. Coins. Money will be coming to you. And the tent that says a temporary situation. So maybe a little bit of a temporary setback uh, on the money. The jug says lighthearted, carefree time. And there's a fair woman dealings or a relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. And the chain that says chain of events that will affect your life. You are in some big changes headed towards your success. Howdy, Miss Jennifer. Oh, Miss Kathy, I am so sorry. Prayers up to you and your family. All righty. Capricorn, your question in your month. November. Your month is November. All right. The Aquas. Hey, Juliet. All right. Aquarius. What house are you in? House of Career for my aquas. All right. All right, Aquarius, you've got the quill, heels, and a younger woman, a wishbone, a bird flying, and a cane, a ram, a bouquet, and a valley. Also, gang, I will be working on your horoscopes. They should be up on the website later this evening at JackieTalman.com. Quill, get back to the basics. Heels, obstacles to overcome. And a younger woman. This is dealing through a relationship with a younger woman. Wishbone. A wish is granted. Bird flying. News is on the way. And a cane. Pay attention to your health. Woo! Aquarius, be warned of missing some time at work here. Okay. You have a stubborn and aggressive person. A bouquet that says compliments from an admirer and a valley. Deep personal strength and peace that assure success. Success. Guys, I think it's like uh, there's some turbulent times at work for my Aquarius, but ultimately it's going to work out just fine. Now, that works. Hello, Eva. Now, I am. It is Good Friday. Now, you know, growing up, um, we were never allowed to go barefooted till after Good Friday. I don't know why. We always had to wait till after Good Friday to go barefooted. Aquarius, Aquarius, my aquas here, September, your question, your month, it is September, 
Yep, I agree, Jennifer. Throw in some potatoes. Last but not least, we have Pisces. Save the best for last. Look there, that one up on the screen. Pisces. Pisces, what house are you in? Happiness, the house of happiness. House of happiness. Woohoo! All the way across to the computer. There you go. All right, Pisces, that's the way to get it done. Shoot the tea all the way across the room. <laughs> all right, Pisces. You have a fair man, a stork, an arrow, a dragon, a wheel, lightning, cobweb, goldfish, and a crown. All right, Pisces. The fair man says dealings or relationship with man with blonde, gray, or white hair. And we have the stork news or of a birth or a new business opportunity and an arrow. You are there on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. I just posted a short on that. The fact that you're on the right path this weekend, um, new business opportunity for a lot of you, new business opportunity coming up. It's got something to do with your happiness. We have the dragon. Dragon, beware of the self-delusion. The wheel. The wheel says indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. Sounds like to me it's time to make decisions. Lightning, control your anger or you will be sorry. Watch your temper. Watch your temper. Cobweb says... Protected from negative forces beyond your control. Goldfish. Increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. And the crown. Honor and respect will come to you. Look. Dutch. There's the goldfish. There you go. Good rating for your happiness. Good rating. Warning against your temper, though. Warning against your temper. All righty. Pisces for question in your month. Y'all stick around. Big Collective is next. January. The month is January. All right. Let's get into a collective read. There we go, the collective. <sighs> Dutch, that absolutely makes you a piranha. <laughs> it's cute. It makes you a piranha. Piranha seeking a leprechaun. Hmm, that's a combination. You're welcome. All right, collective, what house are we in this weekend? The house of Easter. The House of Easter says marriage. House of marriage. All righty. This is for the weekend, guys. This is for the weekend. This is your tea for the weekend. All right. Let's see, guys. What do we have going on here for the weekend? You're welcome, dear. All right. For the weekend, for all of us, we have a rooster, a lobster, and a V, a cracked cup, a horse, an ant, a dagger, a flag, and a ring. Okay, gang. The rooster says an arrogant, boastful person you should not confront. 
We have the lobster says you're in a financial pinch. And that B says victory in some endeavor. So not all is at a loss. Not all is at a loss. There's some victory here. The cracked cup says dissatisfaction with life. I don't think it's so much as dissatisfaction as I think there's a lot of restless energy around all of you. And it's got to do with that full moon energy. The horse says there will be a short journey. And the ant says work, achievement, and success. Y'all going to be successful no matter what you do this weekend. And the dagger. Fear, worries, intense situation, a flag. Do not be tempted to lower your standards in the ring. A marriage will take place either romantic or in business. Now, for some of you, I do see that you're very, very defensive. Some of you are, are absolutely moving forward in regards to relationships, though. All right, collective, your question and your month. Your question, your month. April. It could be as soon as next week. All right, gang. Let me uh, have Spirit give you some more messages for the weekend in general. And then I'll be headed over to the green team. Things that you need to know. Well, there is a random one. It just, there it is, the random. Doing things differently, Sagittarius energy. We have uh, Mariah. Yes, I have, dear. I've done cancer. Bad sleep the whole week. Yes, same here. Really, really strange dreams. High drive for success. Getting things under control. Stop beating yourself up. New opportunities. New doors opening. Walk through them. There is the gathering of people. Caution to slow down. In your vehicle, at home, and at work. Just slow down. Cancer energy is present here. Dig for your patience. Okay, death card energy, endings, closures, rebirths, new beginnings. It's going to be emotional this weekend. Don't forget when it's going to be emotional, don't hesitate to emote. Some brief flirting for some of my singles. Everything you want's within reach. The calm before the storm. The calm before the storm. Setting you up to head into a fast pace or an absolute whirlwind. Someone you know, someone close to you is coming in, coming in to offer up some type of assistant. Remain positive. All right, it's time to make decisions that you've been putting off. 51 and 58. These are two numbers I'm seeing, 51 and 58. If you are separated from someone or something, you need to know it's just temporary. This is a weekend of abundance about taking back your power. You're also surrounded by healing energy. For some of you, this is a physical healing. While for others of you, it's going to be an emotional healing. Emotional healing as in um, someone that's done you wrong. There is an earth sign that you're dealing with. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Some of you may be uh, listening to music, getting involved in music or the lyrics. Some of you may actually be attending a concert of some sorts. But either way, yeah, you're definitely looking. The weekend is intensity and love. Uh, that's singles and couples. And a lot of you, this could be the love of family and her friends. Because like I said, it is Easter weekend. All right, guys. That's what I have for you. Will you see me this weekend? It's always possible. This is a weekend I'm working. We don't have Jason this weekend. Jason will be with her dad. So it's always possible that you see me over the weekend. You guys, thank you for joining me. You know, I appreciate all of you. I appreciate all your energy, your comments, everything. Uh, if you're seeking a personal reading, it's JackieTomlin.com. You'll find a list of options over there. You guys have a good one. I'm headed over to the green team next. See you.